grading large numbers mathematics in this chapter what are the objectives the objectives are we will be able to read large numbers correctly up to eight. now reading large numbers for reading a number we have to divide the number into periods by a comma let us read a number 563 this three digits number is in one period so no need to divide and put a comma 563 can be read as 563 let's read another number h1 seven three six two now divide the number into periods first uh, we have to group them first of all from the right we have to take three digits as one group as one period so three six two one group then one and seven another group then eight another group so these three periods are lakhs thousands and ones let us separate them by using commas so after eight one comma after 17 one comma then three six two as all of you know while dividing into periods we have to start from right and we have to take first three digits then put comma then after we have to use two two digits as one period now the number can be read as eight lakh seventeen thousands three hundred sixty similarly another large number can be read as five nine eight one four six seven zero now divide the number into periods so six seven zero will be one period then one and four will be another period 9 and 8 will be another period and 5 will be another period now let us find out what are the periods the periods are crores lakhs thousands and ones now separate these periods by using commas so after 5 1 comma then after 98 1 comma then after 14 1 comma then 6 7 0 now the number can be read as 5 crore 98 lakh 14,670. Read the numbers 87062. While reading the numbers, we have to divide into periods. Now, divide it after leaving three digits from right. We will put a comma there. Two digits are already there. So, the number will be 87,062. Now another number 204679. And here also we have to divide this number into periods. First you leave 679, then put a comma, then 04, then a comma, then 2. Then you will get three periods here. And we can read the number age 2 lakh 4000. 679 now 3506 now divide this number into periods by using commas after 241 one comma then after 62 one comma then 05 we can take here from right one comma then three and here the periods are four periods and we can read this number as three crore 50 lakh 62,241. Now add the number 6752. And here by taking 257 from right, one period we have to divide by putting a comma and 6 will be another one. So the number will be 6752. Now, my dear friends, I hope you have understood in a very well manner. Now, please do me a favor by answering a few questions given below. My first question is, for reading a number, we have to divide the number into days. 
and the answer is three years. The second question, for dividing the numbers, we have to use a days and the answer is comma. And the third question, a five digit number has days periods. And all of you know, a five digit number has two periods only. First by taking three digits and you will leave another two digits. So only two periods. Next, if a number has eight digits, then the highest period is, if a number has eight digits, then the highest period is cross. If you like this video, please, please, please subscribe this channel, YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, Tarun Kumar Das. Don't forget to click on the bell icon for being notified. You can follow me on HTTPS tarunkumardas.blogspot.com. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Thank you once again.